As a new driver, get us up for the bicycle towards Manchester and part one given signal from the conductor. All service details are in the briefing with a smiley motocom. Okay, so headlights, dairy rate off, signal up ahead is clear. Um, that's the key. Versa. Reset the AWS. Um, acknowledge, acknowledge my uh, TMS configuration. Okay, our PIS code is 9041. Also, need to put my um, root code to a uh, live map. You, you do that by pressing the home and N keys. And this village, chat mask, live Martin, because we're on Liverpool to Manchester via Warrington. Press OK. The Scarborough, so I'll toss up the GSMR, open the doors. This is 1 Echo 89. Alright, 055. So this is, the, this is a scenario by Adam Forsyth, not me, uh, available on ATS. I'll put a link to it in the description. And for some reason, he used a um, get home code instead of like an actual path code. So yeah, we won't be hearing any we won't be hearing any announcements in this video, which is a bit disappointing. So, to passing Liverpool Lime Street, speed limit is 15 miles per hour. The next stop is South Parkway in about 5.5 miles. So, this scenario is called 1 Echo 89 1522 Liverpool to Scarborough. So, service is 1 Echo 89 1522 Liverpool to Scarborough. Formation of three coaches. Piss code is 9041. Calling out Lime Street, South Parkway, Warrington Central, Birchwood, Oxford Road, and Piccadilly. Yeah, he didn't really give uh, like a gear for this, but looking at the stock, I think it's set around 2016, 2017. Because you have transparent stained glass, you have Virgin with the grey doors, the original grey doors, and you have Northern Electrics, the 309s in the. Um, Purple. So yeah, I'd say about 2016-2017. So it's been a little bit now 30. Yeah, next station we'll pass through will be Edge Hill. We'll have six coming in from Oxford Road. I presume via Warrington. So we're in the um, ATS in Boo Class 185, which released, I think it was October 3rd. Because I bought it as soon as it came out because it's the 185, why wouldn't I buy it? It's a unit that runs very close to me. In fact, it, got, it even goes through my local station. Mainly just on ECS runs and driver retention runs and diverts. Because I think 185's go through Rush Trail about between midnight and 5 in the morning. 
I think it's like Manchester Airport to York via Top of Crescent, Benvick, Washdale, Topperdon, Breakhouse, Leeds, New York. This is Edge Hill. So the line that will soon go to the left, or get straight on, is a chat moss that will go towards Wicker Northwestern, Warrington Bank Key, Dutton Willows, Manvik. And we go right towards South Parkway and the what's called main line towards Crew. Yeah, the 105 does have speed set, but one of the conditions is that you have to be above 40 miles an hour. And I'm doing 30. See that line going left is Chat Moss. We go right towards Crew. Even though we come off at South Parkway, we can go left towards Hunts Cross. On the right is Edge Hill Intercity Depot, which seems a bit empty for some reason I would have thought Adam Forsyth would have put in some static stock you know like some pendos or some 105s or 350s Next station will be Mosley Hill. Speed limit speed limit is now going up to eighty. The pressure view modelled very nicely. You get a couple of view you get a few views of it as well. I think it's like four views. station is West Hallerton. So West Hallerton, then the pulls off Parkway.
groundbreaking for our South Parkway because it's literally just, literally just up ahead with the giant footbridge. I'm not sure if the three has a three car top side, because I don't know if it has two, but not it has four. I don't know why Dovetail missed out three. Well, I'll tell you that Dovetail does miss out a lot of stuff. Well, okay, what's called to Mainline South to miss out on the Fountain, despite it being a major station? South Parkway. Who oh, is three? Guess I, was, guess I was mistaken. It's arrival into South Parkway. So departing Liverpool South Parkway, speed limit is 20 miles an hour. So line to the right goes was uh, crew on the West Coast Main Line. We go left-ish towards uh, Hunts Cross, and on the right is Alton Depot. Which I don't think I've been down here. I've been as far as Bonington West, but I haven't been from Warrington to Liverpool yet. I think that's something I probably should do in real life. Because I do have next week boxed off from work. So maybe we should do like Liverpool Manchester by Warrington. Because I've already I already did chat most in real life. Yeah, it's a good room in real life, it's just the AL2 seats, they're a bit um iron body. Pacer, yes, everyone likes everyone likes a pacer. They're basically like a bouncer castle on wheels. Right on the hood, there's a speed limit change for the eighty-five, but I can't see one on the map. Strange. Oh yeah, next up is Warrington Central in about 12 miles. So we'll pass through Hunts Cross, Halewood, Hugh Green, Widnes, Saki for Penkith and Warrington West. Yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying the scenario so far. Very good. Lots of variety in stock, so we've had paces, 150s, 156, 158, 350, 390, 309. This is Hunt's Cross.
Okay, it's speed set. So the first thing you want to do is press Control, Shift and N to activate speed set in the top right. It says advanced speed set enabled. Then you must go to notch 4. Until you get until you get up to the speed you want to set. So in this case I want to speed set at 85 miles an hour. Uh, 85, just put, put the uh, PVC back to uh, off. Wait two seconds and then put it back to notch four. And in the top right it says speed set engaging at 84 miles an hour. As you can see, the power is maintaining my speed at 84 miles an hour. It's really cool. The thing about the um, speed set in the 105 is that the speed set it doesn't manage the braking, only power. So if you go like a if you go downhill, the speed set won't keep the speed set at the certain speed because gravity is making you go faster. So yeah, only it's only useful for like flat gradients and inclines. So I think that was Hellward. Next one is Hugh Green. Another one at five from Scarborough. Oh yeah, I think this was, I think this was also the transitional period from the dynamic lines into stained glass. I think they kind of wanted to separate themselves from first transparent express and transparent express because I think transparent express or first transparent express was owned by first and I think it was Keolis. I think it was with a K. And then in 2016 it passed to entirely owned by FIRST, so it transferred from FIRST Transpennine Express to Transpennine Express. With a new livery and a refurb. So if I had to pick between dynamic lines and stained glass, I think I would pick dynamic lines. Because I've worn it a lot longer. I also like the um livery as well with the dark blue and the stripe. No, I'm, I'm turning it off. It's annoying. is Widdens. I think Alstom have like some plant here where they did like their pen refurb, I think. Like station will be what's essential, even though in real life uh, the next station, actually, you got Widdens, thank you, thank you for Pankith, Warrington West, then Warrington Central. But I don't know when the tour is set. It's set after South Parkway, which opened in, I think it was somewhere around 2006. But before but before Liverpool uh, Lamp Street was redone. So I'd say between 2006 and 20 something, I really. Yeah, next station will be Thank You For Paying Kiss, then it won't be Warrington West, but this route is set before Warrington West, so it will be Warrington Central. When we cross over the uh, West Coast Main Line into Bank Key. Yeah, just cruising at a very um, brisk 84 miles an hour. So 
Sea of Love Man, if I'm wrong to it was created by Dovetail Games, released in... 2000 summer. I can't, I should, I should probably just Google it. It's just good to my um, very loud typing. So it's released on the 14th of August 2014. So yeah, the DLC is seven years old. And it, I think I think the, it does really hold up. Yeah, the route, it does hold up, considering being that old. You have nice foliage, a nice frame rate, decent modelling on the stations. Uh, decent originally for the time, even though, you, even though you probably would want to um, replace originally with the ATS originally. Yeah, the brakes, the brakes on the 105, they are just really good. So yeah, not too far to Warrington Central. The problem is going down to 40 as we cross over the viaduct. So below us now is the West Coast Main Line. On the right is Warrington Bank Key around the corner. And coming up now is Warrington Central. Okay, it's parting Washington Central, speed limit going down to 65. Next stop is Birchwood in 2.5 miles.
So we've got Padgate, Dan Birchwood, Glaze Block, Earlham, Flixton, Chatham Road, Umston, Humphrey Park, Trafford Park, Man United, Deansgate, Oxford Road, and Pic Piccadilly. You're going to press D, but I press C as well. Oh, by the way, I'm not driving with a um, uh, Chatham controller's uh, PPC because I don't own one. I'm pretty sure one wouldn't fit in my desk either because it's crowded full of working timetables and letters. Well, it's now going back up to 85, even though Birchwood is coming up in a mile. Watching Birchwood, aiming to stop at the three car stop sign. Yeah, I think I might slow down. Might have slowed down a bit too um, early. You know, just gonna, just gonna um, casually crawl through the station. Nothing wrong with that. So arrival into Birchwood. Passing Warren, uh, Birchwood, not Warrington, Birchwood. This pillar is 85, the next stop is Oxford Road in 12 miles. So, yeah, the one if I would just come with a bunch of um, car views. So, we have this one, which is uh, the first one. You have GSMR, Axion, TMS. Uh, second man seat, like that. Second man seat, but a bit closer. Uh, guard door panel, below and above. Other guard door panel, 
above and below, and you have for the back and a bit closer. Yeah, really should have show off the uh, door, gu door guard panel at Oxford Road. Because think about the 105 that you can key in for the um, uh, guard door, and that you can open and close them yourself. Which I think they did patch it in the latest update. So go to notch 4 for the speed set. Then back, go to 0. Wait for 2 seconds and then notch back to 4. Then they got speed set engaging at 84 miles an hour. This is Clay's block. Yeah, there used to be a lot of more, a lot more sightings at Glazebrook in the BR Blue period. In the, so, yeah, I guess BR Blue to like privatization in the 1990s. Because I think there used to be like a petroleum plant here or something. But yeah, but it's since closed. Now, coming up on Erlum. I think just Pan used, used to stop at Erlum. Where Northern were doing the strikes. Because I think they're called additionally as Erlum and Ermston. Next station is Flixton. Pacer, number five six. So going, going back down, I'm going at a one two one three five. As you can see, the um, speed set has decreased the power being applied as we're going downhill and not up. The flex in should be right around this um, S bend. Next station is uh, Chasm Road. So the stations on this section they are fairly um, frequent as you as you get closer to the middle of Manchester. So off off uh, so so moving moving on topic, I have recently bought a sections C G and C U from British Railway Books based between 1981 and 1982, mainly for um. The APT because the APT it is criminally underused, both because it sounds really loud and it's deafening. But I think I think someone might make a um, or release a uh, sound patch that'll make it more um, bearable. But not just the APT. I think it also covers the South Kali line and the covering coast. Imagine some uh, uh, BR Blue stuff on Cumberland Coast. That'd be cool. And also, and also um, Carlisle to um, Preston. I think also there's Preston to um, Crew and Liverpool. So yeah, lots of lots of BR Blue stuff. So section CG is the passenger mail stuff, and section CU is the freight stuff.
Oh no, so speaking of BL Blue, um, I have seen pictures of uh, Wagon's new 87, which is fucking really good. Yeah, that'll, that'll definitely get a lot of use with um, my working timetables. Is it Chopper Park? And on the left should be Traffic Traf Park Freightliner Terminal. Which actually has containers in it. Cool. So coming up now is my United Football Ground. You may have your differing opinions about it. Whether you're a Man United fan or a Man City fan. Or you just don't care about football at all, like me. So speed limit's going down to 30 miles an hour as we as we get closer to um, C Tenor. Also on the right it should be the Manchester Metro Link. Which opened in nineteen ninety two. I think the first the, I think the first section was from Bury to uh City Centre, then towards Ochingham and Eccles. Using a sixteen um track. Obviously converted on Obviously converted to light rail. Up in the distance is a big blue building. That's the Domino. It has an actual name because of a H. I've forgotten what it's called. I just call it the Domino. I think station on the right, I think that's Cornbrook. Not sure if now it has three platforms because they the extension to um, Manchester Airport and the Trevor Centre. Oh yeah, I think about the um, uh, Castlefield Junction, I think it's called that. Yeah. Yeah, I think about Castleford Junction is that it tends to be very congested. Especially during peak hours. Because you have trains from Southwood Central, Eccles, uh, Washington Central, Manvik. Yeah, it is a very congested area. So this is uh, Manchester City Centre, full of pubs, and shopping centres, and buses, and more pubs. Next station will be Deansgate, so the line from the left joins from Sofers, Crescent, Eccles and Manvik. Over the also called. Oh yeah, by the way, the scenery on the left is nothing like it is in real life. Go three two three to Deansgate. 
Uh, shit. Yeah, you, just, just, just ignore the middle coach. You, you didn't, you didn't see it, literally. <laughs> uh. Yeah, a bit of an oopsie on my part. So off the Adox of Road, I should be able to um, show you the uh, door guard, door panel guard thing. So on the right, uh, on the right is student accommodation and the universities. So Malmet and Uni Manchester. So I've all into Oxford Road. I don't know whether there's a gap on the left. There should be a gate there. So back to full service. Uh, versus neutral, DRA on. So looking at this back wall here. There we go, so uh, key in first. So press this thing here on the left. I should probably turn my mouse, mouse capture on. So yeah, press this thing on the left here, then press Door release left because the platform is on the left. I can also open the uh, cab door as well, which is really cool. It even flex on the um, outside as well. Really cool. Okay, so now that our, now that our platform duties are complete, we can just press this door here, labeled "Close All Doors," which will close all doors. Now, now to close the um, this door, the cab door, just press this button here, close cab door. Like that. Also says, um, "Have you keyed out?" Which I'm going to do right now. And the, and that door and the guard guard door panel is now inactive, and we can get going. If I could just get the camera back, there we go. So that's that's how you do the um, uh, guard door panel thing. It's really cool. Really cool feature. Anyway, next stop is uh, Piccadilly, which is literally just on there. Got a one at five going to Liverpool, one Fox Chart eight nine. So coming into Man Pick, we can start by the end of the platform as we're coming in on platform 13. Also, speed limit goes down to uh, 20. For God's sake, stupid PVC. So this is Manchester Piccadilly, where the video ends. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video from Liverpool to Manchester by Warrington. A great scenario by Adam Fawcett. Really enjoyed it. Apart from the missing 323, which was my error. So like the video if you're so inclined. Go download this scenario off 
ATS. Uh, subscribe for more chanting content. Like, like the video if you are so inclined. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. So, arrival into Manchester Piccadilly.